All right, another, yes, another Radio Berry Raspberry Pie out of focus video. And why do I have this little sound card plugged into it? Because the Raspberry Pi sound card, well, it's uh, lackluster. Anyway, that's what you're looking at. Uh, got this a couple weeks ago. If if you're a busy person, you know you got responsibilities and you got places to be and things to do. You may not want one of these. I got it online from a Chinese seller. They um, it was 250 bucks. I ordered it on eBay, and the next day it went down to $225, but not for me. <laughs> um, this has got the 5-inch monitor, a little LCD screen, and um, I'm going to pull the plug here so you can hear me. Okay, there you go. Let's see. If, if, if you don't like to tinker with electronic stuff, if you don't understand or don't want to understand... Linux, Raspberry, operating systems, OS systems. Um, you're not familiar with GitHub, and you don't want to become familiar with that's those things. You may not want this. Plus, that's the field programmable gate array. Now, the soldering looks pretty good on this board, but after I got it under some very intense magnifying glasses or microscope, which I don't have the microscope, I wish I did, that guy had some solder issues to the board. So the first couple of days I had it, it worked fine. It received fine. It transmit fine. Um, it only has 100 milliwatts of output power. It's... That's that right there. The receive just cut out. It, it would transmit, but it wouldn't receive. So I got messing around. I flick, I took these screws loose. That one there. And I flexed the board while I was listening to it. And then the receive would come on. And sure enough, uh, and then it would go off. It was very intermittent. So someplace it had a it had some issues with the solder connections on the board. Um, I can't get close enough with this camera. But again, this guy, the, there were several, there was a couple of ground connections that were not soldered well. I couldn't see it. But, um, and there was some connections that and I had to get a schematic out I couldn't find a Raspberry Pi radio berry schematic I could find a Raspberry Pi schematic but not a radio not a radio berry but it's the same basically the same RF front end as a Hermes light this is a Hermes light schematic and, um, and my problems were up here in the ground traces and over here there's some Receiver zero. Re anyway, there's some receive connections here that go from the programmable gate array to the 12-bit um, ADC converter. And those were intermittent. And some of these ground connections were intermittent. So, warmed it up with my heat gun and um, cleaned up a lot of it. I think I still got a ground problem because it's a little noisy. Some other things. Some other things. They send a little, they send this thing in a box and you put it together. Um, the Raspberry Pi board screws to this monitor, this display. And they give you these, 
the standoff connectors. I think they're a three millimeter size thread. Um, and they were a little short. I had to double up two of them and I couldn't put any back. I think that's a, I'm not quite sure what the package is on that field key array, but it's got really tiny, I got to have a times 10, times 20, times 40 microscope to really see where it gets soldered to. I was able to heat it up. I reflowed some of them, some of those pins, and uh, probably most of them. I think I got a couple of ground connections. They're still giving me some problems, but it works. Um, so, you know, it's, this thing is not perfect. Um, it's kind of neat. You can, uh, this thing will go online with my local Wi-Fi router. And I can, it'll communicate over the Wi-Fi. It runs this, um, this Pi SDR. Runs the Pi SDR, which is okay. It's not, it's not a Theosis. Wait, what do I have? I got a Theosis 10.37. No, it's not a Theosis. And it'll give you a couple options. Um, I don't have the Wi-Fi. I don't have the Wi-Fi plugged in, so it's showing the the, the first selection is the um, Pi board, the Pi hat, the Radio Berry. Yeah, see if I can hit that. And the next selection is my local area network Ethernet cable. And there's the, the Pi Berry. And you can plug it into a monitor, which I'm not doing at the moment. So anyway, uh, if, you've been, if you've been looking at these things on YouTube, and you're kind of on the fence, but if you're a busy person, you might not want to waste your time on it. If you want, if you want to learn more about Linux operating systems and software and GitHub and, and you know, it's it could be for you. It has a hundred milliwatt output. It doesn't have a TR relay. Uh, and there's no amplifier boards available at the moment that I know of, but that gives me something to tinker with or making a, a little amplifier board. If I can get it up to a couple of watts, then I can drive my amplifier, my big amplifier with it. Uh, so anyway, you've been warned. Bye for now.